Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you what's new in NoPlan version 3.018. And this version you can full text at headings and the URL part of Markdown links will be hidden and replaced with a symbol. So both features help you to get uh, to reduce the clutter in your note and make it much clearer what you want to work on. So let's start with folding. I have a note here where I prepare a script for a video about bullet journaling. And as you can see, I have a lot of headings here, which are uh, not necessary anymore, like the script outline or the action points. I've done them already, so I want to focus on another part of the document. But I don't want to scroll all the time or be distracted by these headings. So if you hover over a heading, you can click on this new button here and it will automatically fold it for you and it will fold all the text below it and it will add a ellipsis at the end of the heading. This ellipsis will be also saved into your plain text file, into, your, into the markdown file. So it adds an ellipsis at the end of the heading so the state of the folding state will be preserved and it will be also synced to your iOS device. So now let's close a few more and let's say if I don't want to use uh, the mouse and there is also a shortcut you don't have to be above the heading with your cursor to use the shortcut. You can be anywhere and it works like this. So I have it here somewhere in the middle of the text and you hit command slash and it will close it automatically for you. It looks for the next best heading before the cursor. It also supports like this is heading 2 and this is heading 3 and if I close the heading 3 it will only close this one and not everything obviously. And then you can close everything until you have just the paragraph you want to work on. So then all the things before won't distract you so much anymore. It works the same on iOS. Let me show you. As you can see here, the headings are already folded. On iOS, you can, just like on Mac, you can also click on the or tap on the ellipsis at the end and it will open it for you. And if you want to fold it again, there is no hover button on the left, obviously. So you click somewhere in the text and the toolbar will open above the keyboard and here we have a new button this is the arrow down in this case if I click on this here it will fold the text automatically for you and as on Mac it will search for the next best heading on iPad OS you can also use the shortcut command slash to close this so let's close this also just an excellent example and then you can write some new text below this like you can create a new heading and then work on this, for example, without being too distracted about the rest of the paragraphs. And just like on Mac, you can either tap on the ellipsis to open a folded text again, or you can tap here on the again on the toolbar. Now the arrow, the arrow will change to a arrow right, and you can tap on this, and it will also open the folded text. Now let's have a look at the markdown links first on Mac. Let me switch to a separate note for this. And here on iOS 2. Okay, here we have a markdown link. This is how you can write it. So you, you can create a markdown link using the square bracket and then you type in the name of the link. You close the square, square bracket and then you open the parenthesis and say and you fill in the actual URL for example like this. And now when you close the parenthesis, it will automatically turn the URL part into a symbol and a link symbol like this. So now the, the full markdown link is obviously much, much shorter. Now this is a short link, but if you have a long link with a lot of uh, text, then this will give you much more clarity and reduce the clutter. Okay, now how do you edit the text now you can, or the URL? You can just delete the parenthesis at the end and it will turn it back into a URL. Now you can edit it as you want and if you close it again it will turn it to a link back again. Now let's have a look here on iOS. Um, it works the same basically. You delete it, you can um, close it again. Or One thing on iOS is if you tap now on the name here which looks like a link it will not open anything because we are in edit mode means the uh, keyboard at the bottom is opened. You can obviously close the keyboard and then tap on it or uh, which is a bit more difficult on iPad OS because if you have an external keyboard you cannot just close it. So what you can do is you can long press on the link and then open link or tap on open link. This will also open the link for you. Now when you copy the link it will turn the symbol again into an URL. For example if I copy this 
and paste it into something like Sublime here, you see the URL will be unwrapped again. Most of the time, you probably won't type out the link. You copy it from the browser. So let me just copy the URL. So I copied it here from, uh, from Sublime, just the URL part. When you paste it into NoPlan, it will automatically fetch the title from the website and fill it up here and hide the uh, URL part. And with folded headings, you can also copy them. Let's go back to this node. Now we have these folded headings here. And if I copy this one, and let me select everything, then it will also copy the folded text if I select the symbol here. Let's go back to this node. And now I can paste it here. And you see it copied also the, the symbol. And I can click on it and expand it again. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. I made a video specifically for this, for these two features, just to explain how they work and how you can use them. And I will keep improving them and add more.